I think so. All right. <clears throat> Advantage 1 is the environment buildings are a major source of water pollution. Now construction companies aren't accounting for storm water runoff. Now it's off at all in 16 buildings are also a major source of pollution. The building life cycle has many <gasps> unpriced externalities related to construction operation. and deconstruction building operation produces unpriced social costs related to energy and storm water runoff. Also, although for a profit first I respond aggressively to a signaling scheme, they would still have little incentive to internalize their externalities. Now that causes huge environmental damage for two reasons. The first is channel erosion runoff creates large discharges that result in flooding and erosion that creates more sediment downstream Carson at all in 14. The higher and more rapid peak discharge of runoff a tree flow can overload the capacity of a stream of river, causing downstream flooding and sea stream bank erosions. When stream banks erode, they clog stream channels, culverts, and pipes with sediment, contributing to flooding problems, increase volume and velocity, can also accelerate channel erosion changes, can destroy fish habitat, and disrupt the natural ecology, ecology of the stream or river. Can I borrow your camera? Yeah. Thank you. Now, sediment buildup destroys waterway navigability. Mark, indeed, sediment entering storm water decreases the quality of life for drinking water wildlife in the land surrounding sediment deposits in rivers can also the flow of water and reduce water, which makes navigation more difficult. Now, navigation channels are necessary for mosquito population control, stops disease spread right at all in 11. The navigation channel is raised and lowered periodically to control mosquito infestation. This biological method of killing mosquitoes is a superior way to eliminate the nuisance problem of excessive mosquitoes to manage mosquito populations. We need to learn more about the aquatic state and manage those populations while they are still larvae. Now, disease spread is an existential threat has evolved in 12 pathogens cause the extinctions of entire species. Although infectious disease has traditionally not been associated with extinction, this view has been changed by the finding that a single chytra fungus was responsible for the extinction of numerous amphibian species. The view of the diseases were not a cause of extinction was predicated on the notion that many pathogens required their hosts. Does not apply to microbes that are required directly from the environment have no need for a host. It is possible for the pathogens to kill off every last member of a species. Now the second internal link is watershed health. Runoff picks up chemicals, increase massive shocks and flow regimes that create a chaotic disturbance in aquatic ecosystems. Submarine in 17. The problem is that the whole run the, the runoff flushes into water bodies at high speeds over a short time period, creating a wholesale reorganization of the processes of runoff generation. These create radically different flow regimes and higher peak flow rates. These disturbances in aquatic ecosystems are episodic and chaotic chemicals, heavy metals, and waste flow with stormwater into drains and eventually into local water drainage and infrastructure carries pollutants like sediments, excess nutrients into urban waters. Now, aquatic ecosystems are independently key to biodiversity. Walsh in nine North America has a broad array of ecosystems within a multitude of habitats, rich assemblages reside representing diverse taxonomic groups. Loss of biodiversity on Earth is the greatest impending crisis facing humanity. To the the decline of the North American fish impacts other faunas and affects humankind. Freshwater fishes are important centers of environmental conditions and sustainability in natural ecosystems. The balance of aquatic and terrestrial communities is dependent on fish. Migratory fish is service keystone some species of entire ecosystems. Now, loss of biodiversity causes extinction. You should evaluate each instance as an existential threat. Knows where the N14. If you take a block out, it might not fall, but it does make it weaker. Every block removed increases the chances of the tower collapsing by taking away the support. After a while, it doesn't take much to knock the whole thing down. Lack of sea otters allows sea urchins to explode, which causes disappearance of the kelp forest, which resulted in the disappearance of all the other marine life, the removal of a seemingly unnecessary block could have huge repercussions whether the impacts of extinction happen right away or centuries later. They will undoubtedly happen. No species stands alone in the loss of one will always have some impact on others. Now, green buildings solve storm pollution runoff. So, room in 17. Solutions like green infrastructure provide multiple benefits for a variety of management objectives. They can reduce pollution, recharge groundwater, and control flow into rivers and streams. I recommend the federal and state governments focus on arming local governments with the tools and data to build their capacity for collaboration so they can implement green infrastructure more widely. Now, advantage two is non-delegation. A lack of federal involvement means the states and local governments will use LEED as their standard for green buildings. Cotton in 12, green building is mandated by local and state governments. LEED will continue to provide the most common national voluntary consensus to be adopted. There is a fissure between LEED certified buildings as designed and LEED certified buildings as operated. This flaw undermines the government body's primary intention with respect to regulation the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Now, prioritizing lead in state plans violates the non-delegation doctrine because it promotes industry self-regulation. That violation means that states will lose their antitrust immunity. Gruber in 14 lead was not intended to be used as a code. Builders will elect to use the lead system to obtain certification since much of the criteria is met by following Calgary standards. The non-delegation doctrine prohibits the government from designating the functions of the legislature to these third parties. Lawmakers will argue it was an issue of convenience. This should fail because the USGBC alters the lead standards on a regular basis. They are also changing the building code. This delegation can lead to further issues such as the unavailability of state immunity from federal antitrust laws. Now that threatens overall antitrust federalism. Allensworth in 16, new antitrust federalism conditions antitrust immunity on the process of that regulation. Only regulation created by a politically accountable process is beyond the reach of a federal antitrust suit. Anti new antitrust federalism is an improvement. If the court does not give accountability review real bite, it may have to abandon the new antitrust federalism and opt for a nuclear option that could pretend the end of antitrust federalism altogether. Now a failure in new antitrust federalism 
federalism causes a return to Lochner era deregulation. Allensworth in 16. If accountability review fails, the court is intimidated and may be willing to face the specter of Lochner and directly review the substance of an anti competitive state regulation. The court's recent cases have held the regulation delegated to the industry itself must be actively supervised. The court defines active supervision to give accountability review real bite, then federalism has a chance of survival. Now, it will be based on the First Amendment. Shanner in 16. New Lochner largely rests on the apparent obviousness of what constitutes speech by grounding itself in the First Amendment. The new Lochner, not Lochner benefits from a cross ideological coalition formed around earlier uses of the First Amendment. Now, a return to Lochnerism is terrible for the economy. It would flood the courts and eviscerate regulation. Shanner in 16. Lochner equates all speech as constitutionally equal. The new Lochner's rationale would affect all aspects of the administrative state. It would preclude regulation of fraud, malpractice, business licensing, drug warning labels, consumer and environmental spill disclosures. It would run the entirety of the world's largest economy through its courts. This argument calls to undo self-government. Now, that spills over. There's no logical limit to its deregulatory potential, and that has massive impacts on the administrative state. Shanner in 16. The current movement is premised on the notion that all speech is speech. Logical conclusion is a radical reconfiguration of governmental power. Each agency requires hundreds, if not thousands, of mandated disclosures about matters from financial statements to mortgage conditions. All these mandates would be subject to strict scrutiny. The approach of commercial speech advocates would be subject in numerous laws to strict scrutiny, including information related to securities. There is no logical limit to the new Lochner. Now, a perception of SEC incompetency creates a trust shock, which tanks investments in RIA firm closures. Grunin et al. in 16. The Madoff fraud was seen as the failure of the SEC. Investors may have thought other fraudsters might exist. The shock to trust led investors to move money out of risky investments and into lower bank deposit trust shocks have long lasting effects on investment disclosures. Outflows increase in the number of firm closures. Our estimates indicate that the abnormal outflows due to the trust shock were around $363 billion. Allocations to cash substantially increased as a result of the fraud. Trust shock affected many investors indirectly. Now, financial system instability risk global war. The 2008 financial crisis left cracks in the system that undermines interdependence. James and 14. It could happen again. The main story is the precariousness of financial globalization in the view of interdependency. The global economy made more possible. The opposite conclusion proved to be the case after the 2008 financial crisis. Financial institutions appeared as dangerous weapons. Managing the OA crisis dependence on U.S. funding constituted a major weakness. The threat of systemic disruption generates new uncertainty that mirrors the crisis of 1914. There is temptation to roll the dice, even though the game may be fatal. Now, economic decline causes global nuclear war. Tonneson in 15. Negative trade expectations generate trade wars and increase the risk of conflict. Leaders fear their decline. They appeal to anti-foreign sentiments to use force to gain credibility, adopt protectionist policies, and refuse to be deterred by nuclear arms. Socio-economic calamities could happen abruptly. The greater risk is the economy could have consequences in security to protect the world from Armageddon. Deterrence could lose its credibility. Thus, the plan. The United States federal government should implement a hybrid building efficiency system with minimum standards for building construction. Contention 3 is solvency. The plan's balance of power preserves market competition while pursuing the most environmentally efficient buildings. Gruber in 14, it is important that some governmental checks remain in place. This solution requires active involvement of the government to create a suitable framework for energy efficient buildings, leaving to the private sector to address energy efficiency without an external signal is not feasible. Governmental policies influence the building sector, also the behavior of customers, financiers, researchers, and other stakeholders. The individual government should control a simplified system of regulations for the building code. This will set the stage for competition amongst private firms. They can craft higher quality standards for sustainable buildings to better attack the environmental issues that we are faced with today. Now, creating a hybrid model of regulate and inspect between state and private entities is the best middle ground that provides adequate review and doesn't violate the non-delegation doctrine. Gruber in 14, the doctrine should not cause any problems for the hybrid system, even if it is determined that this system does fall within the scope of the doctrine, should still pass important factors that are considered the actions delegated or subjected to a meaningful review. People affected or represented in the legislative body is provided standards that are sufficient. They will have options in choosing which permit office to use. The market will be able to help dictate what the standards are, ensuring a fair system. The hybrid private public system will surely not violate the doctrine. Now, federal guidelines overcome information asymmetries in construction. Cox et al. in 13. Benchmarking is currently unavailable. This can be accomplished by requiring utilities to submit energy data in a standard form using existing software packages. Meter data from utilities and building owners could be combined to provide a vital virtual building meter. Utilities are required to submit whole building aggregated energy consumption data for all tenants to the EPA portfolio manager. Better building energy data would become available to owners, tenants, and utilities. Benchmarking efforts could be accelerated. Demand side management programs could become more feasible. The federal government would gain valuable data to inform the Energy Star Building Certification Standards and the Commercial Building Energy Consumption Survey. Now, data Data also drives more effective investments in green buildings. Pfeiffer in 16. Data collection is now beginning to take a front seat. Gathering this kind of information can lead to smarter business decisions. Insights gained from building data can reduce energy costs by approximately 17%. Perfect. That last card is marked at 17%.
you to, uh, what's the bring for all the water weight and seven damage arguments, or what piece of evidence still remains any sort of break or threshold? Yeah, the marked evidence, I think, makes two threshold arguments. The first is about the quality of life and the impact that it could have on the environment. We think that's sort of a linear risk, that there can't be, like, a clear threshold. I'm not quite sure what you want me to define. The second is at the point where it would um, implicate our ability to control mosquito populations. The cast of all evidence says that our ability to easily control the flow of water in terms of our ability to um, affect the size of riverbanks. Mosquitoes have existed to... for thousands of years and have been biting humans that entire time. Why have none of those caused extinction? We think that it's because we've had disease control efforts, such as our ability to raise and lower like the water bed. Egypt. To... <laughs> what disease control measures did they have that let them survive the extinction of the mosquitoes? That's fair. I think our cast of all evidence says that things like globalization have increased the risk <laughs> that disease will spread across the globe and have implications that were obviously much larger than in Egypt. Okay, how many... Uh, species need to die before it spills over to like humans on the ground. I think we have reasons why aquatic species are important in particular. Um, I also think that, again, it's sort of a linear risk argument. We're not entirely sure which species can be defined as keystone species, but we are certain that the more we remove blocks from the tower in a sort of Jenga analogy, the weaker the overall environment will become. What's the lead standard? Uh, the LEED standard is a standard for building efficiency that is not necessarily a governmental regulation, but is a standard adopted by multiple states that creates a framework for energy efficiency in buildings. Why, is, why does that violate the non-delegation doctrine? Because it is uh, assigning a legislative action to a third party. The non-delegation doctrine says that basically the government can't do that, and so standards that are adopted by private companies that are essentially themselves regulating right. violate like that standard. Back up one second, the ELI-5, the non-delegation doctrine. I'm sorry, what are you asking? Can what you is the non-delegation doctrine? Non doctrine? Sure, the government can't designate the functions of the legislature to third parties. So the ability of the government to regulate third parties shouldn't be left with third parties. Okay, Actually um, can't be left with third parties, I guess is a better explanation of our argument. Um, why does this spill over to antitrust federalism? Um, our argument is that suits are going to be brought because the lead standards, the state adoption of lead standards violates the non-delegation doctrine because industries can't regulate themselves. We think that that undermines antitrust federalism because it would lead to regulations being challenged when currently they're protected by antitrust immunity. So antitrust federalism essentially goes away in a world where they are not immune from Okay, I'm going to skip a little bit to the point. What's the Fed key warrant? You know, we're reading the state's kind of blood. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I think our Gruber evidence, as well as our first piece of evidence on the first advantage, says that a federal signal is necessary because the problem in the status quo is that states are adopting these types of standards that violate the non-delegation doctrine because they don't have a clear signal. Why does uniformity not solve that? What do you, why do you a uniform state's counterpoint? Kind of sure, that's fair. So I think the group evidence is I think the group evidence right. is clear that yeah. states don't have the authority to implement those types of Six off 
advantage two, advantage one. Climbing border, uh, adjustment measures, even small climbing BTS just 
the multilateral trading center at home. I don't want to live in Evans, Charlie. And you can take care of our border just in two weeks. The police are the back of our both industry and environments and maybe two better guards for action on the mission. So put two strong rights by Turkey, Kurdish, and Sami. There's serious systemic risks to the multilateral trade system. You should let's turn to the measures you create. You go in their scales, modesty, plain green lights, global prolifa. BTA, the global prolifa climate. Border marches causes massive trade wars at RCD. WTO, no matter the outcome, WF and 10, they'll particularly turn to the proliferation of border. Mission churches will use every country in the world, and one of the major options for the limits of the mission is competitiveness and environment. Many countries are considered border measures dangerous at border. The border measures by one country leads to counter-measures by other countries. Mutual subsidy for tip protection, retaliation, litigation, WTO. The whatever it's outcome under the strength is standard of multilateral training system. WTO, de escalates conflicts, but DSB credibility is key. Goes nuclear hammer. It's up WTO is almost important to international. System companies will see an increase in the WTO is going to support arbitrary disputes. Working the WTO can be able to set a nuclear armor to promote respect to enemy the USA. We take our chances to declare this a geopolitical threat. Russia, we play dangerous, bring shit with the great powers, but treaty politicians fingers off the but a WTO must maintain high credibility in nations. But pursuing WTO is the most responsible effort to do. Which is after the WTO will deny. They will stand for sanctions, arbitrary judgments, have to promote the organization's credibility. The second advantage Trump circumvents the app. His agencies ensure definitional circumvention. Who say, I love it. Not the Trump will put in the prominent comments captured the Trump's achievement warning against climate alarmists of the chain. Two works have been existed for some time to move into implementation. Would face the legal challenge and administration could. But the administration could more easily water down regs and not. The FNLs including limits on admission to put easy could. Trigger bosses that have a good deal with the agency's discretion. Back to the first effort of agency's expertise. Going back to economic climate. Clearly, in 52, economic director, general company, economic structures, and social media facilities are possibly drawing data from 109 distinct robberies, 109 distinct and 67 of which are evidence to suggest that robberies were twice as likely to determine during the downturn's control. All for me, uh, alternative explanation for peaceful relations, systemic changes, was it? Other compounding variables is questions existing in the, the questions existing through claiming the downturns are associated with diversion where it argues that peace may result from economic troubles. Econ is resilient, positive, instantaneous response, increased economic resistance, stimulus flows between economic critics, move for additional stimulus, system, better capitalism, minor more risk of resisting, to the center, about such a small and critical Breaks our communities to stabilization. Balance sheets are solid. Oh, wait, Cruz, you said not to the economy there. Uh, Thomas and Evans concludes negative Thomas and 15 touches in the uh, sure, like, uh, are unlikely to escalate to worry about the accomplishment of the Interface where where leaders are free for peace. Well, less nuclear church church upstairs the same fear they accept the risk. Pending on others, there will be neither turn nor the revive. Neither should we just dispute uh, and diplomacy either. The imperial the deregulation impact is imperial not if the right that was caused by deregulation. No reason should have caused conflict. It's also inevitable. Pause in two six strong. Replacement of financial regulators in this year, the SEC. Uh, FTC yelling Trump, uh, uh, yelling Trump will have to go through the notes and comment to eliminate the rules. However, regulators can uh, easily relax with by possible interpretation of minimal enforcement personnel as possible. Legislation would be needed to repeal the block of rules. Deregulation is better for growth and competitiveness. Early 128. Dot. Uh, Frequent sketch and take place upon a poor foundation. No requires alteration. Dot. Uh, alone to make it difficult for small businesses to secure loans. Two. Uh, uh, two created two small businesses. Complex regulations require small banks to have the net effects and lessons we can market. See. Uh, uh, BT, the, the behemoth generating five billion dollars at five. The uh, end results will recover low growth and smaller base limit. The product strategy. Outside the U.S. federal system's resilient Rodriguez at 14, the system groups ongoing negotiations, disagreement, problems, and constitutes a framework for national negotiation. Multiple policy institutions are part of the negotiated over, uh, required over to debate plan and discussion. Space of federalism overlapping political uh, uh, communities in the system are neither locked in nor serious on competition or bound by controls of engagement. Also, empirically proven that things like Obamacare drug prohibition shift up the set the next advantage. Water pollution is empirically not those across sex. Also, massive oil causes they don't solve like things like non point sources of pollution, which leak into the water. Small solves that's SD 11. The water users might be vulnerable to contaminants. Is the natural contaminants. Thanks to care about why the EPA water systems can be protected through the detection of such things. It works well in software. So within within uh, minutes of whether something is wrong, given the time to warn and protect the public is improvement water quality by the comprehensive real time data. Trump wants to deregulate uh, things like the chemical industry, which obviously are massive all causes because it would cause more chemicals to leak into the water. Uh, water pollution declining, not lines in signing, not the 2007 2000 emissions decreased by 50%, suspended on decreased by 65%, those decreased by 22%, and 8%, federal decreased by 57%. It's impossible to solve once in that study. Water quality finally returned. 100 of the goes 360 contaminants. U.S. EPA regulates 114 of those pollutants. Uh, Drop from water sources. Egg factory charges. Consumer products are run off waste. Water trim uh, was considered relatively was considered regulating pesticides as commercial. Comes disinfected by products and pharmaceuticals. No impact to disease. Park one's FDA ban. Temps are very unlikely to cause extinction of the record. Uh, the extinction less than 4% were ascribed to disease. Not were globally dispersed. Other factors also contributed to our species. Very numerous globally dispersed are capable of uh, response. And very unlikely to be called up. Highly lethal pathogens killed before they spread. So there is a slight depression not to be lethal pathogens. Kobe Bob rather than kill. The host no modeling claim, which means that their internal link is about U.S. waterways, but their impact is about global biodiversity. Obviously, other countries stuff no impact to biodiversity. The laws of Karima and Trump some suggest this piece lost the ecosystem will be lost. It did not simply support collapse disappears and what species not lead to extinction. The mines can be a question of the ecosystem resilient or not isolated uh, or not isolated. The lid identified 240 uh, uh, studies the ecosystem of following major surface species recover. Nature can recover. Good process. Okay. Um, your Lincoln is
from for the horse trading DA is from 2013 and sure. says that concessions are presented as a QBQ to the fossil fuel industry. Mm -hmm. Did any of Obama's regulations have this feature? Those were all executive regulations. The plan does not. Okay. Does your evidence make a distinction about legislation? The one in our ed will. The one in our evidence will. So yep. you do not yet have a unique link. Does Disagree. It? Our evidence is about concession for climate legislation, which Obama didn't pass any. It was all executive action, all which right. obviously like is different than congressional legislation. I'm going to ask about the state's counterplan now. So I just have a clarification question about the counterplan tax. Does the last plank mean that the carbon tax goes away if the plan happens? If the federal plan. If the federal plan happens. Yep. Yes. Okay. I see. What is the net benefit to the state's counterplan? Uh, horse trading and anything else? No. Okay. That's the one I see trading. Okay. Um, who does your other counter plan pay to establish voluntary standards for building construction? Uh, uh, go ahead. Companies or other building owners themselves, okay, so as like, well as international agencies who would be responsible. Okay, your second plank says that payments will be available for relevant emissions reductions outside the yep. United States. What is the scope of what would be considered a relevant emission reduction outside the U.S.? Whether it meets the guidelines of the app. Yeah. Okay, so if any other country establishes energy efficiency standards, they would get payment from the United well, States? Individual entities within those countries that start to meet the voluntary standards that did not meet it before the standards were implemented. Okay, what is it a benefit to this counter plan? Uh, both the horse trading disad and the trade disad. And the trade disad, okay. Yes. Um, I have questions about the trade disad. Yeah. Um, your first piece of evidence is about how any regulation would lead to a call for a border adjustment. It's from 2011. Again, same question. Did any of Obama's regulations lead to a border tax adjustment for its impact on the U.S. economy? There are exact regulations, which is also distinct. Our evidence also I'm says. I'm so confused our evidence about says that, that because this evidence just does not make that distinction. Well, the WEF is the evidence you want to look at, not the Holmes evidence, which says that because of the unprecedented size of administrative burdens and costs that the BTAs would impose are Why way distinct than any Obama's of the other disputes executive that the WTO executive actions are. not lead to higher administrative costs? Because we have read evidence that says climate BTAs are completely distinct. All Obama's stuff was executive action. Trump would have to Again, go Again, I'm Congress. looking for a single piece of evidence that says that EXOs don't link, but legislation does. We have not like read EXOs evidence in the 1NC, but Obama did not do any climate measure that was passed through Congress during his term. Yeah, which you don't have we'll say that the scale and magnitude of the app is different than okay, other that's regulations. Fine. I'm going to move on to the impact. Obama. I don't think that makes any sense, but I'm going to move on. Why does the plan affect the credibility of the WTO's dispute resolution board, which is the internal link to your impact? Because it forces them to arbitrate and decide over the case at hand. I think that there have been a lot of times where the WTO dispute resolution board has had to arbitrate for or against the United States. But Why is this a unique instance that affects its overall credibility? The distinction is those other disputes that they had to arbitrate over were not climate BTAs that were imposed by the U.S. Okay. Ten minutes. Stop right there on end.
Everyone here. Is everyone ready for an order? <laughs> nice. Okay. The <laughs> it's going to be the second advantage, so the Lochner antitrust non delegation. Um, the pollution advantage, T substantial, T restrict. Okay, yep, I'll slow down. Yep. Okay, so T substantial, T restrict, the state's counter plan. The incentives counter plan, the Arctic drilling horse trade off DA, and finally the trade DA. First case order. Um, so second advantage, order. first advantage. The um, incentives counter plan yeah. drilling DA trade DA. Okay. Everyone is good. No. No. When I when I hold up my hand in the future, when you ask if everybody's good, this means no, I'm not. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. You used to do this to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. Was it this? You have me do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I mean, it gets the message across. Okay. <laughs> states are delegating to private actors regulatory authority now over construction. That violates the non-delegation principle with that states. The delegation can only be acted upon when the legislature has acted with an explicit, intelligible principle for deregulation. That takes away the immunity from state regulators for federal antitrust laws. That creates a legal crisis that destroys a new doctrine of antitrust federalism and replaces it with Lochnerism, which is massive deregulation, makes it impossible to regulate industry activities. I know this sounds confusing, but I promise you the evidence is pretty sweet. They say that Trump will circumvent the app, but no, he can't. Our evidence is that we be, we have a, we have a solid legal understanding. Also, durable fiat be able to check back our, our evidence. Is that once we said once we said things like benchmarks, the private investors will want to fill in because it says that there's a dis, uh, there's a disconnect now between the private industry and the uh, and the, the private industry and consumers. It says they actually want green buildings, but they misunderstand the cost. The plan green lights that and causes massive uh, green buildings. Yes, there is an impact to economic decline. Group there, uh, the group there. Next three arguments. Honest and evidence says that it causes things like negative trade expectations, which will turn the DA, but not the other way around. But also causes things like diversionary tactics, and it causes asymmetries to be noticed. Great powers uh, will go will go to conflict in a world where they don't have resources or have to appease uh, to their populace. No. Um, let's see. What is this argument? Autonomous is not a negative piece of evidence here. Evidence just says it might be difficult. Or evidence says that in the world where the SEC can literally no longer regulate, that causes a massive financial shock because investors don't know uh, what, 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 what is going on. So there's no mandatory disclosure requirements. That causes a huge backlash. That Autonomous evidence says goes uh, to war. Yes, I've already answered that. It is not empirically. Uh, it's not empir empirically denied. Your evidence about the your evidence about the economy overheating slash this uh, Yellen argument obviously doesn't assume things like an SEC uh, shock. The deregulation argument isn't reverse causal. It also uh, it also still doesn't assume our scenario, which is about financial industries that'll become more tender and roll with the SEC literally can't do anything because the uh, First Amendment and Lochner have been combined in a world which means everything is free speech. No, your federalism argument doesn't apply. I don't want to be this guy, but hashtag not our federalism. It's about antitrust federalism and the immunity that's happening now. Our Ellensworth evidence says that it is on the brink and new cases could uh, cause it to collapse. Uh, Obamacare, doesn't dump our, Obamacare doesn't dump our argument because it's not about non-delegation, the pollution advantage. No, it's not empirically done. Our evidence is pretty awesome. Is that sediment, as a, as a sediment is filling up in waterways now. Our evidence says that that causes massive, episodic, and chaotic shocks to ecosystems. So group a lot of their arguments. Is, it isn't about water, waterways being polluted. It's an argument about the water hits the rivers going so fast because our cities aren't designed properly that channels begin to erode. And then it causes a bunch of stuff to just die off in mass ways. Our knowledge where the evidence is that you should prioritize this kind of extinction to level scenario because it, it, there's an invisible threshold. We don't know exactly what will happen. That means that the, your evidence that it's impossible to solve actually flows of a year. actually flows of permanent because there are evidence says that it, there's an invisible threshold. You never know. You should uh, you should prioritize every kind of a species. There is an impact of disease loss. Our Caswell evidence says that research is necessary, and our evidence says that we can't if we can't control. We can see the population that causes everyone uh, to die from disease. We don't have proper uh, medical medical institutes. 
Mm, okay, we didn't make a modeling argument, so it doesn't matter. It's about freshwater ecosystems in the United States. T. Substantial means of considerable amount. It's not a predetermined number. Post 2004, the word substantial generally means considerable amount. Value of the worth does not apply specific number or cutoff and a reduction must be 25%. DOD 2003, substantial reduction is defined as a funding or quantity decrease of 25% or more than the total funding or quantities in buildings are 40%. Dot for 2010, buildings are significantly contributed to energy and efficiency and waste inefficiency. Cover 40% of nation's greenhouse gas emissions by 70%. Electrical, electrical consumption you prefer our interpretation. It's predictable. The app is a massive regulation. Second is a ground argument. Third, in terms of always arbitrary, doesn't give the app a predictable way to build winnable apps. In terms of we always lose things like picks. And third is limits we don't explode them. Having a considerable amount still provides generic. DAs and counterpoints, also new apps are good. Their key to education and fairness is also a competitive incentive to do it. You should be able to research more. Also, you were totally going to do it too, so be quiet. Also, we did specify the agents. Nice, it's federal government. You didn't read a piece of evidence. I'm not going to do more than you did. Default to reasonability. Trying to quantify emissions is a dumb T restrict. We meet your argument. The Act defense placing restrictions on how much construction and building sentiment they get any link based off of uh, restricting building emissions, and we'll defend that. And green building regulations are limits on emissions. Cutting coast 2012 approaches to rebuilding tend to fall in one or two categories: incentives, mandatory standards, incentive programs. They got a number of forms, including tax amendment, sensitivity bonuses, yeah, expedited permitting, technical sense, mandatory standards, or regulations, or general. Our regulations can limit and a restriction is a, is a certain limit on action corpus. Your Senate Committee 31 restrict is from passing a certain limit. Any kind of action and energy standards are set based on overall CO2. That's a limit on action lost in 2008. A total requirement of building a set on the basis of supply or energy, resulting in environmental effect of CO2 emissions are of others set on the Incidents and overall value installations will be calculated in the permanent performance of maximum value. Stop and set on the use of fossil fuels primary usage or the uh, maximum CO2 emissions. Uh, uh, energy performance standards are given to construction and designers who are placed in energy jobs within the uh, within the frame. And new should perform interpretation. One is predictability. The ask mechanism is a top-down regulation that mandates CO2 emissions on building energy usage. If that is not a hard enough cap, I don't know what is. It also definitely meets the intent of the resolution. Is second a limits argument? We don't explode them. It still sets a cap on emissions through energy efficiency and CO2 mandates. So finally, a ground argument. Energy efficiency debates are inevitable. Core ops like carbon tax and CBP both lower emissions through things like creating efficient or green technology. Building standards do the same thing. They also still have a core ground. There's only risk they deck innovation because hard caps have few solvency advocates and always lose the things like picks, cross-supply, reasonability, the state's counter plan. Permutation, do both, and permutation, do the consult section of the counter plan. They, it severs nothing plan, doesn't actually commit to certainty. Functional competition is about standards of churches, copy, topic clash, our, our, our firms have no topicality burdens. If they did a host bad counter plans, marginal compete and should, is not, shall, sign conditional, at list 99, shall, that's screams, something, name, shall describe something desirable, non compliance would be explicitly justified. And counter plans that compete on certainty are a voter. A sub point is that infinitely delimit certainty be suspended for any reason. B sub point is after round. Never will always pick a situation where the condition will be readily accepted. This counter plan proves. And C sub point is that it jacks topic education. Their whole argument be centered to be made around main case. And Z sub point is that literature doesn't sex. A S literature can suffer my badly. The nations want to care, not the F. Also amplifies all reasons why 50 state fiat and uniformity would be bad because there's no way we can possibly know about what that kind of condition would look like. Furthermore, after that theory garbage, counter plan isn't able to solve the F. One is our data sharing argument. Only federal enforcement and uniform standards solve investment decisions necessary for green infrastructure. That's Cox evidence. Second is our runoff argument. Federal mandates are necessary for signaling to create data sharing that spurs more efficient buildings. Finally, is antitrust state action still violates aspects of non-delegation and triggers federal antitrust laws that creates lockers and only federal government can create the standards necessary to avoid the oncoming legal battle. Also, national comprehensive codes are necessary to avoid regulatory confusion around road 2012. Most buildings integrate require permits under the CAA, however, permits require BACT, which is determined by case by case basis. DB cannot really limit the sources by case by case basis. The tailoring will be chosen to limit JG regulations to sources emitting more than 75,000 per thousand PPY co 2 e The best way to regulate smaller sources of GHG emissions by using building codes and tailoring rules should be replacing the Swedish energy efficient building codes to regulate the regular GHG. GHGs and local uh, governments fail with buildings and causes a race to the bottom. Cotton doesn't publish the shortcomings of local regulation and causes a danger of the race to the bottom. Uh, the obvious downside of local regulation that comes to external is more felt low intensity locally. So the original water pollution, air quality, environmental uh, do not stop there. I mean, this will shape orders national effort would be achieving it and achieving major progress. The uniformity national standards with respect to green building would be in the same way as the system of developing groups who work with one set of standards. Mark that card at one set of standards. Mm -hmm. And state mandates fail to keep up with innovations, but the AFTA does. Cooper 2014, some states and cities have established mandatory ordinances and mandates uh, from salvaging and reusing non hazardous construction or demolition waste. These efforts are not without issues, not effectively, and then effectively, the necessity of reforming and advancing environmental change, uh, challenges, concerns, rights, and the relying on the viability of implementation and constantly changing, filled by shifting the code, a general model, essentially, is making my results first, making more effectively, but it maintained to be able to push forward the change we need. Also, that solves multiple scenarios for extinction. Daniel Porter 2014, continuing to build the way to build using material resources, is no longer viable to distribute a diminishing energy water population, but climate change, scientific research, makes it clear the human environment survival spends on maintaining equal ultra cycle, we're depleting heat resources, petrochemicals, water, global deforestation, and sustained survival. We'll see Pressure design and disaster mitigation build the plans and essential infrastructure to future lies in chemicals and new processing tools or chemical industry alchemizing chemicals uh, will decrease reserves of our supply ash health hazard mark that card and health hazards the incentives counter plan. It doesn't solve the F. I don't know what an incentive is. Also, incentives and lead is a status quo. That's the antitrust advantage creates legal dilemmas. Also, federal regulations are key. Cross supply, our data sharing argument and permutation do both the interaction effect of both incentives and regulations works to correct the failures. That's 2010, a mandatory of regulations are that the government unnecessarily limited financial incentives. The interaction work together to promote green building incentives. Incentives only mandatory minimum requirements to be implemented. Just working building, waiting for the markets to develop well. Little means to decrease environmental harms. Uh, uh, harms are foster green development and impacting nations. Contribution to the problems that requires the private sector completely adopt green building incentives. Mandatory approach will ensure the federal uh, the future projects are built uh, are built green. Also, they failed. That's 2010, the government uses lead whether incentivize or mandate. The most standards are currently Voluntary, the government's already extensively involved in green building and initiatives that will continue to place in every role in the future. Incentive supporters argue that the government programs are ensure as
This dissat literally doesn't make any sense. Who would propose the horse trade? Also, the dissat is not an opportunity cost of the act. The judge has the power of the entire federal government. Opportunity cost is the basis for decision making. The only way she divide with the debate. Also, their evidence is simply too old. If Republicans want to drill, they're going to drill. Also, it's totally ridiculous. Readiness would always be prioritized in the world of the GOP government. They would never allow drilling to get in the way. Also, readiness is going to be fine because through things like Trump's defense spending will outweigh any kind of a thing that environmentalism can harm. Also, there's no risk of a war. Hostile 2008 is a non polar world increasing chance of a war. Will the two continue to prevent a large public chance of a world war? So, more likely to say that we know conceivable dispute among major powers are just by nature of nuclear weapons. Right the card and nuclear weapons also roll back to the notable because of Trump daily pace 11 15 moves. A Trump's move to roll back environmental policies only a fettered on prediction of oil pitches are troubling creatures in the government of the offshore drilling on the Atlantic Ocean and other areas where it is blocked. Mark the card at block the trade deal. Trump thumps it. Plaid in Swanson 17. The Trump administration announced a sharper from the U.S. trade policy. Now we may ignore the certain rules of the decision. Different on U.S. sovereignty. Jump proud. Vowed to be the renegotiator. Pull back from multilateral trade agreements. Seek bilateral trade. Jump proud. Threaten terrorists and other trade barriers. Get back to the WTO. Rules lean. Bring more. The Trump administration can simply ignore uh, the complaints. Although there is zero link to this DA. There is no reason why a domestic industry like construction would rally for BTAs after the plan. You should think that makes literally zero sense. We've also given the finger to the DSRB so many times. There's no way. Either it's so resilient that it will never actually happen, or it's terminally not unique. Things like the Antigua decision. Things like cotton and steel all prove that we that the DSRB is extremely resilient. Those who also BTAs will cause retaliation. Home to doesn't well provided the BCA will provide a little playing field. The WTO complaint behind the border should not bring the trade regime to the point of collapse. Already has the strongest energy. Introduce BCAs once the rest of the world. The strongest senators from the carbonage exporter just instead of starting a trade war. Also, there's no trade war. All the two thousand twelve seems to start with the concept of a trade war. The concept of a trade war. There's no WTO NAFTA. Any use in the rules to deter damage is obviously given the WTO standards. Part of the WTO standards. Part of the action. There's no trade. No war court. Mark that card at court. All right. Are you good? Yep. Reasons to reject the team. Conditional counter. Or yeah, conditional counter plans. I guess. So you did not say that. No. Cool. Uh, the what's the last piece of evidence on the drilling dissent? Um, the Trump rollback inevitable argument. Wait, which author? I mean, Daily and Pace. Daily and Pace. Where yep. is it? The card under two AC drill. All right, I see it. Cool. All right. Uh, your waterways, freshwater key evidence. I'm gonna read you a line of your impact evidence. It says that. Lack of sea otters allowed sea urchins to explode, which caused disappearance of kelp forests. Yep. Your impact is about the oceans. How do freshwater no, that's, systems... That's just giving an example of how different species can cascade in different areas. It says that when they lost a sea otter, other species that they didn't know were connected were able to cascade. Where do you have evidence that cascade. is indicative of freshwater ecosystems? Um, I think the Nasworth evidence says that all species are an invisible threshold and that we don't know which ones are keystones. It's keystone, about sea urchins and your internal that, that, link is it's just, it's just giving an example. I don't think I have to tell you which exact species is going to collapse. Our internal link, I think, is large enough. What do you do about up. global... Uh, Water pollution and damaged waterways, like China port dredging. I don't think you have a card that says that one that is like necessary, or is, you don't even have evidence that that's happening in the status quo is going to kill mass species. Well, no, We've read no. evidence that says that the way that rivers are connected now to uh, like buildings in different cities will cause massive amounts of okay, freshwater so ecosystems about, to die. What about people, or what about different countries in the Tibetan Plateau region, which are uh, exploring? Okay, I think you need Econ evidence on the Tibetan or... Plateau region before I go down this rabbit hole with you. Pardon me. I said, I, you need evidence on this before I'm going down this rabbit hole. Well, I'm just I saying, what do you do about global about loss of yeah, freshwater fine. systems and different erosion of so or different I, erosion of waterways globally? I, you don't have any evidence on what is happening globally. We do. I think we need to present evidence before we're like having a massive discussion. massive all-cause your impact. All right. You, um, we don't know if it is. You haven't read any evidence. Uh, what does the... Actually, no. That's the... The innovation just said on the counter plan. Yeah. Says that... Some states and cities have established mandatory ordinance requiring building developers to take steps to make buildings more sustainable. Why is yep. that not solved yet? Um, because, one, we've already said that the states and the way they mandate it use lead standards. That's a cotton evidence from the 1AC. And they say that mandating those lead okay. standards... Okay, then your evidence, causes... goes, okay, your evidence goes on to say okay. that mandates range from salvaging or refusing non-hazardous construction or demolition waste. Then your impact evidence, your Daniel Poor evidence, right. is about biochemical innovation. No, the, Dan the Daniel Poor evidence is about building coatings, and it says that we need to be able to have a, like a massive investment in green buildings to solve for new kinds of coatings. And the evidence is like shockingly good as to why this solves a bunch of existential crises in the world. What's the internal link between the mandates ranging from salvaging or reusing non-hazardous construction the, or demolition waste to deforestation? The group evidence just like says that when states do it alone, they don't, they're not innovative enough. We've also, we've also read evidence that says it causes a race to the bottom. We've read 1AC solvency evidence that says a plan okay. causes a massive innovation because of things That's like not. massive investment. Casimal evidence says that microbial diseases cause extinction. What different microbes are coming now? I mean, I, I don't think any evidence names a particular microbe. Our evidence is about disease research, not like mosquitoes causing a certain disease now. Our evidence says that we need to be able to control populations and research them. Where have you read evidence that says research is necessary to solve um, that's, disease? That's the one I see evidence about mosquitoes. Yeah, 655. <laughs> So you just go say, D 
CJ has bad growth too, so I see you. Yeah, I mean, we're rooting a lot. I hope we didn't need too much, but I think that would work for me. Who's the panel? I thought it was a good panel, more of a policy than I think I kind of thought about the math just because it was a bit like Arjun and Kayla just in my soul. You didn't say the name of the previous one, I can't remember. You know us in the double, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Michaela Russell. Heather. Heather. Yeah. Where are you going? Summer? This spring, I guess it's sort of summer, May and June, we're going to Bergen for 10 days with me and Pusa. There's a lot of people. I mean, I'm sure you can go around. I'm going to stay and go down to the mass country for a few days, walk a little bit to the of the God. And um, I think that might be it. I don't know. I usually go somewhere during the fucking workshop. But Not this time? Maybe. I don't know. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't got anything for you. Yeah, we're going in. We got along with <laughs> Spain, Mallorca, Mallorca, Barcelona, Madrid, Greece, all over, all the islands, and then Montenegro. I, I think Croatia. Madrid is. I think Madrid is worth it for a day or two. That's all we're doing, yeah. For the Picasso, but I really don't think. Barcelona is fabulous. We're doing, yeah, we're doing, I think it's great food. Um, <laughs> three, two or three days in Madrid, a full week in Barcelona. Yeah. I, I'll write you, I got some restaurant yeah. suggestions yeah, in Barcelona. Yeah. If you're going to Spain that long, I really would be tempted to suggest you try San Yeah. It's fabulous. Okay. The highest concentration of Michigan stars per population in the world. <laughs> so where in Croatia? Dubrovnik? Dubrovnik and then some so just north area north. where the truffles are. Eastria. Eastria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's okay. right. Yeah. Oh, we've been there. And we had a fabulous time. I'll try to see you some stuff okay. today, too. Yeah. yeah, we love Eastria. The truffles are so cheap. It's just, it's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Just. And then the summer is a little early for trouble. Well, this will be September. Like, oh, good. So, this will be good. Yeah. So we went between Georgia State and Kentucky. And I think on October 1st is <laughs> <laughs> the day the white trumpets is going to be open. But they're still got the still out of black ones before that. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much all we ate. They were. This is the one where we usually have to go work. Yeah. 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 And they make Malvasia, <sighs> that white wine. It's pretty good too. I love this beer. It's so cheap. This is ridiculous. Yeah, we stayed in the house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
state scatter plan. Case in the order of advantage to advantage. I'm, I'm sorry, can you just start out? Inside the scatter plan? I wrote voluntary loops to change that. Yeah, I was going to say, my guy was not that either. So, yeah, incentives. All right, incentives. Mm -hmm. States? Let's start calling it state pressure. <coughs> Case in order non delegation. Environment. Anybody not ready? Intendants can't but not call for permutation just as a competition. They don't have any offense of the full. Go to the state's pressure kind of following the permutation. Both links to the net benefit shielding is structurally unwinnable. It relies on the kind of the counterplan instantaneously reverses opposition. So much of the plan immediately passes without any political difficulty. The premise concedes 100% solved. So any risk of the permutation links, no matter how small, means that they lose because it's only risk of offense. Simultaneous action can't shield the counterplan, only change the political dynamics ex post facto. But the plan links ex ante through the process of passage. That's Viber, which I'll read a little bit lower on the line. But like prior legislation was laid the government for political shift shielding is only later and follow on progress and controversy, even though it's first passage. Viber in 13, Congress failed to make a climate policy, had a little chance for up to 23 on the landscape that already changed the response to prior legislation, the better choice would have laid the ground for free after the future. The importance that was made clear, I because I had significant money by advertising and lobbying that I was able to turn a penny building group to support policy, make this easier. If the see the benefits of more than environmental, I make a significant difference in feasibility, political dynamics, change for the industry benefits of the promise in terms of the currency passing. The permit is politics and circumvention, sequencing is key, meckling in 15. We are regulating the issue their political bearers firms have incentives to work as a brand implementation policy, fail even with great the accountability of the wing coalition, thrive on policy, feedback, the more industry, the stronger coalition, the easier gets over the measure graded, tolerance for regulation, feedback, problems, support, feeding on progress, policy, making sure you see a strategic led up initial policy and think strategically in the early phase of local policy implemented. Sequencing matters, trying to follow some of the great constituencies that support subsequent moves or the measure mobilize coalition over time. Around the policy can be entered as a task for the test of a globally growing coalition that supports ranking the good commitments over time. The permutation through the process of the capitalist and coherent of the capitalist is a capital distinct actor and process. No part of the capitalist is any potential process for the pundits. Only makes sense against USFG recommendations, not different actors. Voting issue but kills crowd. This really means do the capitalist, then the plan. That is intrinsic. It adds delay. That's unpredictable and kills crowd. Nothing justifies adding a time frame. The capitalist is immediate, just like the plan. Plan and capitalist are simultaneous actions. Whatever your interpretation of fiat applies equally to both. Key to rest of processing fairness. Anything else is arbitrary and destroys ground. Fiat should be interpreted as an immediate negative ground. All this has to assume it. Aft ground is key to short term revenge and avoid infinite delay. Ground is no offense because they can burn ground by that delay. Should means must requires immediate legal effects. Numbers 94. Counting in that days. A construction should is more than desirable. Should be must be the laws immediately effective for those who in the future. Capital is not a federal restriction because it's not the direct government limitation. The outcomes are entirely irrelevant. Zimmerman 11. Direct guidance on correct application of this important rule to find the precise minimum restriction. This relies entirely on the technical question whether we measure also direct government limitation on the purpose or effects are entirely relevant. Substantial requires immediate legal effect. Worse than phrase 64. The worst substantial means that which not immediately can be opposed to the disorder and absolutely represent them. Increases the function not Outcome requires immediate effect. HCFC and for the board increase is used in relation to function rather than objective of the cell. Not because you're doing increases on work plans that does not adequately define limits of the duty. They say theory, there's zero link to it. We're a totally different policy enacted by a different actor. Recommendation counterplan initiates the plan that has a federal actor recommended. We are indistinct from any state's counterplan that makes a solvency based follow on argument independent of the actor. The counterplan never has a conditional, uh, never conditionally uses the plan or recommends the plan. It's entirely silent on the desirability of preemption and it does a result in the plan. Circumvention means it results in an entirely different outcome. Text is the best standard for determining the link. It solves our offense. It includes recommendation counsel and condition counsel, resulting in the counter in the plan is bad standard, it mixes burdens. That's arbitrary and unpredictable theory. Depend on outcome makes legitimacy an in round moving target, legit in the one C, but a little legit in the two C and absurd standard. It eliminates all counterparts. Any could possibly result in the plan, even poor arguments like incentives. Wouldn't 13 every action is some kind of effect on something butterflies able to create whether the cause and effect are applicable, even if the cause are unfathomable. That outweighs crushes education due to the negative, especially if the NTT were new acts are prevalent. No loss of topic education for the debate still happens. Counts is a small part. Hard debates good, it increases strategic thinking and makes it more fun. Your counsel is plan is harder answers. The reason we should be rewarded, not a reason we should lose. They didn't say the states was an independent voting issue, but if it, they do in the one ER, the non uniform states can Counterplan for assaults it. It's key negative ground on an F5 soft game against a new FR counterplan is uniquely good. Backed by predictable literature, vital topic education, climate policy making our education is unique. It shifts away from current flawed and static understandings to a new, no more dynamic uh, climate policy and policy. That's Viber evidence on all the keywords. More Viber and 13 important implications of the first priority of climate policy should be to increase the board of funding legislation by building the industry that gives the policy not an end, but instead to achieve future progress. There are historic precedents for policy makers to have the support for policy goals. And this is where it will all start to come together. They have goofed uh, massively in this. The entire point of the capital was never to solve using the states. It was all to instantaneously spur federal follow one by being so asinine that it forces them to act. The counterplan solves 100% of the case, and that's the only solves the argument I'm going to go for. It fundamentally shifts the terms of the debate. It's no longer yes, no follow one. It's follow one versus 50 states to read the plan, and a massive, rapidly escalating carbon tax. The choice for the federal government is obvious. No follow one is backwards. The board is Congress and industry post extensive regulations, but post counterplan, the best way to minimize them is follow one. Economic and political incentives only go one way. States doing the plan means the costs are baked in, and if it's an evolutive industry, prefers the Fed is magnified by literally exponential carbon price increases. Carbon price increases. California would be $49 at the end of year one, $343 after year 20. 
win over two thousand dollars per ton after year three. That's absolutely guaranteed. Fall one <laughs> pressures would be overwhelmingly uh, overwhelmingly heterogeneous pricing boost industry demand and congressional support for fall one. It requires costly differentiation that makes a variety of issue and broader regulatory abuse of capital that stacks politics in favor. Even if some industries regulated by the plan still oppose it, carbon taxes economy wide abuse all industries and all the public lobby for it, which answers every single one of their songs. The arguments there's robust empirical support. Freeman and Seven strong empirical evidence support DVD many statutes future preemption evidence suggests state regulation for good precedes industry demand for federal states and defense response to three the best the current the MVPC and response to fears about terms of regulation industry becoming extremely good by disparate standard all public opposing privately supported federal center evidence and covers consensual about the rim climate politics are dynamic not static building interest group support through differential regulations keep up with the permutation fails only sequencing the capital first avoids backlash and circumvention viper in 13 companies look at the snapshot analysis of holiday might make future work feasible change the environment static analysis available because the legislation will talk future rationality the importance of understanding also dynamically in particular the ability climate options the industry concerned about differential state regulation push for defense every option important is not just what is possible today but what possibly can increase the odds of the future of these groups backslash incremental to give these as a wholly different approach to create a sort of line table later possibly achievable once intermediate steps Cultivate support of interviews, aid effort to provide support for federal legislation. The most important feature man might be to whether it is the best policy, but whether it will create moment of your future step. Political resistance to taxes rises incrementally with the price follow-up becomes irresistible at the end of your run. That is fast, but the permutation doesn't shield. Jenkins 14, political practices significantly delay an effort to implement the optimal price political theory, and ever somebody was indicating it has resistance for producing an increase in consumer resistance to price prices. This will make buying policy to direct prices of $8 per ton current constraints or sensitive to price invest. The uh, impact of price pricing will for the optimal cost and more really important implication of reality considering the ability takes likely to yield the tax level. Congressional outcomes are actually and only the counterplan alone solves political strategy and sequencing or key checks on circumvention. Robert 15, the most efficient policy, assuming it can be raised to right level, who are working on some cost or concern to build a political deficit. It is not efficient to take figures very high. Many policy can create coalitions, get pricing, a little policy more efficient, but real policy better than a measure. Thinking this way, not just how many times it reduces the power of the public coalitions, much easier policy. I guess I'm going to be the absolute political strategy. Lobbying backlash causes circumvention. The Rex policy by building prior industry support is key. Lightning in 15, EPA, Rex failed to control GHT, this is ever shaping an inadequate form of single unit exposure to constant criticism from effective parties, especially congressional criticism of rising for lobbying of industry and absolute public support adapting the advantage of climate level energy as long as the issue lack of central banking and possible professional and they didn't say permutation to the count but all the arguments that I made on through the process of the counter answer but the add-on doesn't make any sense the count is sufficient to solve the evidence is super bad doesn't make any modeling or spillover arguments but they conceded on the other advantage that they don't lead to or their impact emphasis about global housing and development practices in all sectors which they obviously don't solve and they're not keeping the overall industry which is the reason why they don't solve the state yeah but alone avoids the link to the dissent it doesn't like it's not federal action it doesn't involve Trump which may have state, uh, state don't link or shift the blame Raven 4 a lot of action must rhetoric and bear some engagement at the federal level to solve that process of policy development has been involved state policy revaluing the most rest of the accounts. Nevertheless, it's an active policy that demonstrates the political possible reform coalition to support initiative to reduce the GHGs, which they didn't say in the two ways, but it's the only way to win. So, yeah, go to case. Circumvention, it destroys the F. Trump agencies ensure definitional circumvention of the plan, but water it down to nothing or make it functionally useless. Flaming issue, no, their defense applies. It's all about how Trump can't roll back existing regulations, which might be true. If Boosting takes that into account, it doesn't apply to agency discretion over setting new regulations that aren't finalized. They get discretion in the course of first. The key distinction because circumventing the plan all functionally is the status quo and just avoiding an increase rather than dismantling the Clean Air Act of Paris. There's a bunch of ways that they can interpret the plan into nothingness. The plan literally just sets minimum standards, but doesn't say what level of those are set up, which means that Trump gets discretion into set it to zero because he controls the EPA, which would be Responsible for implementation. Lobbying back to the, oh, I read that card about. Intensity of capture was key carpenter 14. We distinguish stronger beach capture capture available by degrees rather than present rather high level or fiddling regulation to be regulation because the problem can't go without the healthy functioning. The error because the capture is a robust demanding result resulting regulation would be best served if the recapture by contrary to the first minute after compromise the regulation for the public is also recapture made the ubiquitous building. <clears throat> And fiat doesn't solve the guarantees implementation, which is in our argument. It's all about how that happens and what that means on the ground. Details not specified by the planner, determined by evidence, key to predictability, and tied to real world literature. Plan taxes keys to focus on the debate, re clarification of the moving target that kills one and strategy. And as a voting, do they get to choose a plan? Bainness gives them upsize and counter the competition of the prices. Less on the the I will extend the no war from economic to climate causes countries to turn inward instead of outward. The best statistics prove that's a clear evidence. They can't overcome empirics because 2008 disproved it, leading to any sort of war. There's, I think that they dropped that there's no spillover. The post evidence says this is not on two levels. First is industry, financial decline will lead to other sectors because they've been insulated in the wake of 2008 and the second is global it won't spill over to other economies because global mechanisms and the central bank policies check it from silly government which means they can't access any of their impact Tonneson is definitely a negative author who says that interdependence inevitably checks conflict even in the absence of strong economy which is the reason why they can't get this impact and you should fall to it federalism and this overall structure is resilient which is the reason why their single case isn't key and it doesn't change the overall fabric of the resolution which is structurally ingrained in the US political system they don't have any way to change these specific political incentives of specific contingencies people like Scott Walker Rev and Senate to resist federal regulations in order to appease constituencies, which is the reason why their impact is inevitable. Environment, sufficiency, and thresholds there, and they have has neither. It says things that will be bad, not that it is make or break for the terminal impact. Warming obviously outweighs all of the levels of the app because the sea level rise, ecosystem loss, or droughts, which are all worse. Water pollution impact is empirically denied. There's too many all causes. They don't overcome things like agriculture or irrigation, which are massive all causes that obviously is one, but there's no impact to disease. The best simulation, slow transmission, there's fast global response, and burnout kills it too quickly, which is far core evidence. Their interlinked evidence is awful and empirically denied by 3,000 
years of history, they can see they know model, which means that they can't solve globally or solve disease in the worst areas. Uh, I'll take the second prep. Uh, can you just extend bio defense? Yeah, I'm going to just read up the computer. Uh, just pull it up. I don't have time. Okay. Uh, um, let me. Are you ready? Let me write that first. I'll hang it up. What? This is prep? I'm writing down the amount of prep left. That's okay. Okay, ready to go. Okay, so let me see if I understand this counter plan. Yeah. The first line of the counter plan is the states do the plan. Uh huh. The next part is something about carbon taxes that rise exponentially over time that are only preempted if the federal government takes action on the if plan. If does the plan? Yes. Okay. The counter plan. What do you think the possible net benefit to this counter plan? It's the horse trading to set as well as why if the federal government acts, which you've said will definitely happen. Why will that not cause the same horse trading? I think there's a time frame distinction that Luke's going to carve it a little bit what? more than one more. Uh, okay, time frame. Your yeah. cards are from 2013, dude. What possible time frame do you think this like drilling thing has? That's going to be a little bit more than one in R, but it's our evidence is unique to this political climate, and especially it, our evidence says that it builds political. Oh yeah, sorry. Our ed says that's that's the wrong argument. I'm thinking of a different kind of line. Our argument on this is it builds political support after a year, which makes a horse trade unnecessary. We've read evidence that the massive industry lobbying and opposition but, builds enough political okay, no, support I want, such I that Trump this. doesn't have to have you're a horse trade. trade. Yeah, you're totally right. You're, sorry. You're <laughs> horse trading argument, your horse trading argument is about like lobbying in Congress. Why does that incentive for drilling go away in a world of the states or the world of the federal government doing it with your counter plan? Because the there are incredible industry, public, and congressional incentives for the federal government to take action, which are the reason it's first. In a yeah. world of the affirmative, no, 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 no. the Hold on, only potential way it could possibly pass. I think you misunderstood my question. My question mm -hmm. was, your horse trading arguments are about like lobbies and political influence now that want drilling. Why yes. Is, why, why is that influence gone in the world of the counterpoint? It's not gone, but passage is not predicated on appeasing those lobbies because of the overwhelming support that's generated okay. about a year after the counter okay, goes into effect, which okay. we've read three that, pieces that of evidence on. on. the pollution advantage, yeah. you've made arguments about warming. Did you read evidence on warming? No, but this is okay. established did you read, did fact. You read, did you read evidence on like agriculture pollution? Uh, yeah, the one in C. Yeah. What one in C card is this? Uh, let me pull up the one in C for a sec. Mm. Uh, SD11 says that contaminant, natural contaminants are okay. existing in the status quo. The once evidence says that there okay, are that 200 unrelated regulated about, chemicals in water. That doesn't seem to be about agriculture, though. Am I right on that? 200, 316 different contaminants, some of which are from factory discharges. Okay. Oh, runoff and wastewater no, treatment. That answers all my questions. Yeah. So it is specific. All right. I'm sending it. going to be case where Evan left off. Then it'll be the trade dissent. It'll be the drilling dissent. Uh, exceed our ability to take out species needed to keep the plant healthy. Seems unlikely to be anywhere near the quarter million we have now disappeared. 
difference even in useful species that have no epigenetic <laughs> material is the Linger tends to can introduce DNA from any species into another, which allows unlimited biodiversity. Mark that card of biodiversity. The traits is not going to go for it. Consider that the plan is W2 not compliant, which proves no link and not. I'll consider trade defense, which says that interlinkages prevent people from going to war, which also takes out their econ impact. The Navy just said it always in church gets lots of nipple power and votes for vicious challenges from Russia, China, Japan, and uh, North Korea. Escalates and goes nuclear triggers, global combat, that's crops. He's hurt every impact. Equally, love our new rude of party. This was he's but lets his lack of credible capability to render irrelevant to Army and Air Force. That's his turn uh, into a Chinese like Japan, creating nuclear weapons, trade collapses, parts of Ukraine, Russia, which is dominated by the and malaria, our epidemic, Iran, Donatin, uh, the Iran dominated his nuclear power, Egypt, Syria, Jordan, and uh, Iraq, and Texas, or NATO, and Shannon, who removed shutdown would be catastrophic. This highlight the impact of loss of proponent sea power turns biodiversity too. It's a team, there may be nothing more essential than the interest of the little island, the clean ocean, with a fiscal court the production of oil, uh, drilling puts waters in the worst of disaster, exposed water, sustained life out of the we must live in the waters exposed to drilling. It's been three decades since we charted the Atlantic. Those waters must be permanently protected from uh, the purge of protected from we are shifting away from those fuels to prevent catastrophic climate change, opening new drilling wood, blocking future generations into, uh, into those fuels. Obviously, it turns their uh, disease impact on the cap evidence that, uh, or the equine evidence I read about says that it causes uh, it causes things like cholera and malaria to uh, break out, which necessarily controls a larger internal link, that, uh, which controls a larger internal link to the affirmative. The uh, link to we're the only ones with contextual evidence on the link. The price for passage for climate legislation is a political horseshoe that gives Republicans and conservative Dems something they want to swing the deal. Expanding drilling in the Atlantic is necessary. QPQ for required support. That's up. When I see evidence, Trump will extract concessions. Maximum concessions in states for climate policy. Offer the planning. In exchange for Dems support. I dream that's coming. 12 12. Trump uh, states that people doing deals in real estate. So, sell different drips at the people at different prices. This we allow a profit for the developer. I mentioned we're saying about our president. He holds a portfolio of political assets. Uh, trading partners. Congress say mentioned Trump's uh, Trump whose ideology remains fluid and love. Just more than the ideological line. Could he sell climate legislation? Democrats are swing. Again, there's an alignment for a grand bargain that links climate policy to any expanded energy production that's bored off in 13 traditional lower carbon means a price after the energy grand bargain to government uh, must help the oil develop uh, to while the, while the industry works reduce car, uh, reduce emissions our current situation make up our possible the production outlook is different than 2010 consequences fall uh, well, that make it easier for them to take support from the uh, oil from the oil and gas which will benefit the infrastructure and uh, which will benefit infrastructure which will go intrinsic this is a voter race when it's towards the when there's no bread line they can just permanent just have second experience for us no good way to test what advantages are churching to the F, which means they link to two. Third is logical policymaker is an objective, no reason that is necessarily better for a debate. The link proves it. Just it's intrinsic. It into horse training just as they're good and they kill it versus keen engineer to put it to net ground flex, but especially an athlete topic real world judge case process key to coordination. The uh, uh, the drilling just uh, the, the, the drilling and number argument. It's not he needs dumb support, not just few GOP. Not all dumps have to get on board, just enough that 60 votes to break the pillow buster. Only half will need to play, but it won't be enough. Now, there's back to 37. Obama did not include Lisa's in the length of the administration. Those should consider drilling in the areas. Uh, in those years, but to second, not to urging the environmental groups for now, it seems that uh, the Trump will stick to the current policy, the capacity uh, that could possibly change. Atlantic drilling is blocked by Obama's action, and there's not yet sufficient support for congressional reversal. As per year 125, Obama invoked authority to set aside large parts of the Atlantic from uh, to call for Republicans industry. Groups are being thrown in the chat to any effort to undo uh, will likely require Congress standing act, will require 60 vote majority to clear the filibuster hurdle. Republicans control 52 seats. Trump and GOP want to roll it back, but they don't have the votes in Congress now that Bloomberg 2020 Obama put hundreds of millions of acres in the Arctic in the Atlantic. Off limit, but uh, indefinitely, it's not all clear that Trump can unilateral reverse this without Congress passing. Put up with the OCS that says that the president may withdraw on least lands. It doesn't say that the future president can undo it, which all only Congress can put ears back into consideration. GOP Congress could try to place these ears play for drilling. That would have to be, uh, they, they would have to get, they, they, they would have to uh, get by Senate filibuster first, which isn't uh, so easy. We wouldn't just prioritize writing this because the industry would immediately demand, uh, they would immediately demand it uh, open up, even if that's true. Navy necessarily determines all other forms of writing. It's <laughs> McCallan is in 15 worldwide responsibilities man in the US by his support and political here to credit share freedom and the capability of oceans are essential no matter what kind of the power of the US overseas is going on. Uh, the initial always use to sustain all must conduct without interference operating from the sea not land fixed location navy advances nature six zero if of course president without uh, permission offers mobility with unique power of mobility system and flexibility of forces uh, are well suited Trump defense spending is irrelevant our journaling is about training Virginia is key is but to training in all other aspects which means that even if he increases defense spending uh, Virginia is necessarily key to make those Things effective. Their Navy defense is way too old. Doesn't serve current threat. The current threat evolution says that deterrence and so forth. Obviously, doesn't serve Navy. It's vital to land, air, and sea battle. We're maintaining large capabilities is key to deterrence. Crops into one short term views because our food is larger. We can allow the U.S. police to shrink American naval force will remain. Uh, we should asymmetry to the strategy will diminish our current advantage. The U.S. is the only sea power with the transoceanic global which allows us to project power, deter war, communicate with others that are running the list. Open the uh, show points and chaos. The last argument, their evidence is normative, not descriptive. Is one person's legal case that Trump should be able to undo the ban. Zero. Said that opinion is widely held and would actually be successful. It won't happen.
happened now? The text for 125 will buy me books and 37 sellers. Trust and later to the film. Oh, you read that. Even if he could Trump, we'll reverse it now, young and <laughs> 17 some. Uh, we're looking to Trump to make a history book for a book in my name. However, some, but uh, this is going to with press Alexa Thorey. Trump might not have to do anything, might not have any appetite for such fantasy. Just like handing lanes to the state, only Congress can reverse the plane to huge part. Parental one, uh, three. Obama banned from the Ireland taking the political pressure on women's third in the shots and through legislation can be difficult to uh, undo. Ocean listed all third person, which only says he. Uh, only uh, Congress can undo a Congress's authority to open it. Uh, here's the same Dems could filibuster for Obama's deal. Uh, need 50 votes. 60 votes. I didn't say a word. He said, is everybody ready? He said, yes. Oh, I, I didn't think so. I thought you said, is anybody not ready? He said, no. I gave you the green light.
Order is the environment advantage, the non delegation advantage, the township plan. Sure, the environment advantage, the non delegation advantage, the counter plan, trade DA, drilling. Environment, non delegation, the counter plan, trade, drilling. <coughs> okay. Is everybody ready? Our impact evidence says that it creates, it's like Jacob, when one block is removed, it creates system instability where we never know what the threshold will be. We can't identify keystone species, which means that any risk that biodiversity loss spills over and cause extinction means that you should vote affirmative. Yes, there is an impact. It is our impact evidence says that theirs doesn't take into account things like globalization and new pandemics that don't assume research that we don't need a host for disease to spread anymore, which is a unique, or, or, or the traditional idea that disease needs a host to spread and therefore they won't kill themselves. That research has been disproven, which means the only warrant that the block extends is wrong. Now, the last argument is there's no impact of biodiversity. That was about there. Evidence doesn't take into account the fact that we can't identify key stone species. Our evidence is better and more conclusive. It cites studies that indicate that this type of instability leads to overall system instability that creates the potential for ecosystem decline, even if on its own one system, one system collapse doesn't cause extinction. Now, the non delegation advantage group on their circumvention arguments durable. Via should be able to solve this. The plan sets a benchmark. The idea that Trump would be able to circumvent the app applies to every affirmative, which means that it would be impossible to be off the benchmarks that would be applied by the EPA would be done through regulatory permitting, which Trump does 
to have any effect over yes, there's an impact economic decline, new trends like protectionism and populism make lash out uniquely likely, which proves that empirics do not take out our impact. 2008 has created shocks in the system that will make it unstable in the future. Yes, there is financial system spillover. Our evidence indicates that financial systems are so interdependent that shocks like SEC, or like people pulling out investments because of SEC confusion would obviously spill over the counter plan. The counter plan doesn't compete. We're going for the permutation. Do both argument fiat doesn't mean immediate should doesn't mean shall. Which their interpretation makes uh, makes being affirmative impossible because debate because we just have to debate, debate about whether or not the F would be good in the future or versus now. The counter plan literally results in the entirety of the plan means that we only get offense about whether or not the plan should occur in the interim. Their education arguments are turned by this because it means that we would literally have to debate the F, which makes it impossible to be affirmative. Now we meet their argument about substantial, which is the only counter interpretation. We don't have to substantial having an immediate effect doesn't mean that the plan has to happen overnight. Now the the follow on argument states well, there's a dissent to the there's a dissent to the counter plan in terms of the states acting in the interim. It says that it creates confusion about data sharing, which undermines uncertainty. That is a terminal impact to the that is a terminal impact to the second advantage, which means that it causes financial uncertainty in the short term. Even if eventually it gets cleared up, it obviously links to the net benefit, which is defense for the permutation, because it eventually would result in the regulation. There is no reason that the horror of a carbon tax would overcome Republicans' love for drilling, which means that there is a marginal risk that there is a net benefit to this counter plan. Which justifies, which is obviously defense and a reason why the permutation should solve. Even if it eventually results in the plan, that eventuality means that it links to the net benefit. Anything else? Um, yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, trade game. The alternate impact defense doesn't take out our advantage. The trade impact defense is about whether or not countries will lash out as a result of disputes in, th in terms of things like the dispute resolution board. A ton of some evidence is about, is about the terms of trade expectations and whether or not countries have a propensity to lash out. This is just about whether or not small disputes like the ones that they have isolated would ever escalate. We say they don't. Drilling. Can we, can we go and extend that add on real quick? Oh, sure. the term of yeah. Term yeah. Like, There's what? no terminal impact defense to the add on we've read on the state's counter plan. That's where I'm at now. I'll wait until everyone's good. Yes? Okay, states counterplay, they have no terminal impact defense. The Rollins evidence says that state innovation fails in the interim, which prevents us from developing solutions like to emerging threats in terms of the, the uh, in terms of emerging threats, things like resource depletion means that the way we construct buildings in the status quo creates an existential risk. The affirmative solves it creates new green infrastructure that leads to innovation technologies, new chemicals that can solve emerging threats, and we can't predict the drilling dissad. There is no way that this is that could possibly turn the case. The impact on readiness isn't big enough to matter. Virginia pilot in 16, much of the military's objections was redacted. Offshore development can be compatible. With the Navy's missions, we will be able to train effectively into the foreseeable future without creating undue risk to other ocean users or offshore drill and gas in the best without this should be how you frame the, your, their impact. Virginia is literally on the opposite side of where we would launch sailors, which means that the impact on this is marginal because there are other training facilities on the other side of the country, which means that they have to win a huge risk of their internal link to be able to win that their terminal impact turns the case because they haven't said the internal link turns the case. Now, data disproves their hard power arguments. Fat Weiss in 11, there's no evidence to support a relationship between U.S. activism and international stability. The world grew more peaceful while the U.S. Comes forces, no seat to get action, no military in hands, no arms races, no regional balancing, only evidence regarding systemic reaction to untrained. The U.S. suggests peaceful trends are unrelated to a global policeman. Now, their laundry list of vague impacts is academic junks. Conflict don't just emerge as a result of lack of hard power. Fat wise in 11 assertions that without U.S. presence, instability would return to render in vague language. What? Where would this danger arise? Chinese spend one tenth of the U.S. level threats posed by the China are not dire specific threats are more significant than vague on name danger. Basic psychology provides that rarely are our actions as consequential as we perceive states overweight the degree to which their behavior is responsible importance of U.S. Germany and stability is overrated. Hegemonic stability can only be falsified, never proven. Now, their link argument is just horrible. It is not an opportunity cost to the plan. Their evidence is from 2013. They've never read that piece of legislation. Evidence says that, it says that Obama's executive orders should have triggered this dissent, which proves that it is not unique. Trump might be able to extract concessions, but that just proves that he will do this inevitably because he obviously loves drilling. Now, their next argument is the logical policymaker proves it's intrinsic. Just because it's an intrinsic dissent to the app doesn't mean that it can't be non-unique by the fact that other environmental regulations exist since their link evidence was written and none of these concessions were extracted. Now, Trump not unique this decided he can do things to, like just start granting permits to drillers, which means that he can effectively reverse drilling protections and make it inevitable. Oh, suits 11-11. In the wake of Trump's election, advocates will urge Obama to stop oil and gas. He says Trump supports an increased oil and gas development and raises stakes for industry worried about drilling's damage to the coastal economy and permanent drilling ban would protect and safeguard against future pro-drilling administrations without Obama facing the top banning offshore drilling. The devastation to our coastal economies will begin very shortly. He will definitely roll back inevitably. Yardly 11-18. The president has the authority to 
to ban the address oil and gas drilling without a permit withdrawal. The call sign was seen in oil and gas developments industry groups expressed what the Trump would reverse the presidential election has approved. Plus, to aggressively roll back environmental regulations and expanded fossil fuel developments. The last argument I'm going for is that the Navy is resilient. This doesn't have any sort of implication on whether or not the overall Navy would be sufficient. Now, the status quo definitely solves all of their training arguments on the 13. The U.S. Navy is maintaining a robust global presence. That is still a formidable force a way to maintain American presence in a crucial part of the world. On a tight budget, there are also predisposition supplies in case theaters overseas. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody not ready? Yeah, give me one second. Sorry. Tell me one. A crush for the negative on circumvention. Only the counter results in the implementation of the plan's green infrastructure. We read five pieces of evidence in the block that the counter process is the only way to create sufficient political support to prevent massive industry foot dragging, EPA non enforcement, watering down, and agency stripping as backlash that destroys the apps regulation and leads to absolute non enforcement. That's Latin Robin, Latin Roberts Carpenter and Viber. You should prefer that. We have read a wealth of qualified and detailed solvency offense evidence that provides unique advantages of the counter method of support building using defensive preemption theory that zero of their evidence assumes, and the one here was way 
only two light onions, compounded by all the arguments that we've made on case. We all agree that they get the plan. It's a question of what that means on the ground. We have made arguments that the plan's minimum uh, minimum standard gets used, I guess, gets interpreted by the EPA and the Trump administration as something that means eh, functionally zero because they have broad leeway to decide how that's implemented, which means that it um, takes out 100% solvency because it'll be set so low that it is insufficient to solve any of the 1AC's impact scenarios. The, the, we, uh, the permutation doesn't solve that because we read three pieces of Viper evidence in the 2NC is that sequencing is key. Prior industry support is the necessity to build, build political coalitions as well as support within the industry and the public in order for these regulations to be successful, which means that it flips the 2AR's favorite framing. Try or die or any advantage of the affirmative is only a reason you can vote negative for the counterplan. Externally, it solves 100% of the case. It results in the federal government implementing the plan in less than a year, which is a shorter time frame than any of the app impacts. The threshold is sufficiency. We don't need to win that we're good as the app just that we're good enough to make this quote non-catastrophic. The permutation to both is a non-winner. It's incoherent because it fundamentally relies on winning 100% app solvency or 100% counterplan solvency and the chain massively overhauling the political process in order to win a shielding argument, which means that you have to vote negative on try or die for even a tiny risk of the horse trading counterplan. This was not a permutation to the counterplan or a non-competition argument in the 2EC or 1AR. Don't let it become one in the 2AR. It was permutation to both. They, they all, Our counterplan is indistinct from any state's counterplan of the federal follow-on war, which means that all of the offense that they have read does not apply. It doesn't take out education. It's a unique dynamic political process. We, Strauss wrote an awesome counterplan based on defensive preemption theory, which is somewhere no one else has gone in the entire literature based in the debate community, which is the reason why you should reward us if we made it hard for the affirmative uh, this debate. That's good. They broke a new app against us in out rounds of the NDT, which means they should stop whining and defend the F. The substantial, all of the definitions are secondary to the counterpoint process. It does not do the F. It does not lead to the F necessarily. It's silent on the desirability of federal preemption, which is an explicit argument that was dropped by the 1AR, which means that all of their competition questions are secondary to the desirability of the implementation. The, uh, all the uncertainty arguments don't make any sense because we lead to fast federal follow-on. None of their affirmative impact arguments are within a six-month time frame, or if they are, then counterpoint is able to come back and shield them enough in a short enough time frame that it won't escalate to extinction. The doesn't link to the net benefit. You should explicitly flag this as new in the one error and cross it off their flow because our black strategy was predicated on 2AC strategic concessions. It doesn't link because it, it flies below the political radar. I read a piece of rave evidence in the 2NC that says it's not it's not perceived at a higher level. And I read two pieces of 2NC evidence in the solvency portion of the line by line that said that sequencing is key. It doesn't build enough sub political support to overcome the horse train lead to enough political cover for Trump until about nine months, nine to 12 months after the passage of the counterplan, they have conceded that the plan of the counterplan happened at the same time, which is, and didn't extend any other interpretation of should, the, which is, which means that they cannot win this argument. If they did, should means immediate, that's key to F and negative ground, because timely, this says, as well as any affirmative arguments, necessarily rely on that, and they don't have any other alternative interpretation that's able to solve it. The, all of the reasons why the carbon tax is escalating, unpredictable, heterogeneous, and literally exponential are reasons why it, it would force fast federal action, and there is no external result. It happens, it, and it builds enough political support and avoids the horse riding. So the add-on is obviously solved by the counterplan because we are going to win that we are the only way to result in effective implementation. Disset. Naval powers that solve all the terminal impacts of the Afghan talks on global conflict de-escalation and going backwards in bolts of revision to challengers from Russia, Iran, China, and North Korea. We each escalate and go nuclear. You don't need to win any turns case arguments because it's just a question. I'm not going to go over any of the individual turns case arguments, but the, the, our Virginia Avenue doesn't take into account the magnitude of the interlink. The base that always opened up as a result of the plan is key to all the global naval operations. We have an incredibly specific and good evidence that in this debate that is necessary for all training operations. All people in the day have to go through this area. There's no other area that can fill in because it leads to unique anti-submarine training operations and if those people, everyone who goes there gets <coughs> deployed into all areas of the globe, which is the reason why there is no fill in post plan we control massive magnitude of the interlink. Virginia, even if it's on the opposite side, their impact defense is a crush and that you should prefer the Eaglin evidence, which is statistical and more qualified analysis and says that global challengers would be revisionist and emboldened as a result of the plan. Multiple hot for escalation go global. Iran is constantly trying to assert hegemony in the Middle East. That's only one of ten different impacts in our evidence talks about that cause it Never looks all of our links. We control the best in a link scenario. All of, we have. 
Normally, uh, we control the link. Normal means there is the price of passing for climate legislation is a political horseshit that gives Republicans and conservative Democrats something they want to sweeten the deal. Expanded oil drilling in the Atlantic is a necessary quid pro quo to create required support, even if it's unlikely. It's the most likely way that the plan would happen. Trump will extract minimum possession. We're the only one with that that cites his motives. He's a businessman, wants to build deals with industry, offers the plan in exchange for support. All Obama actions were actions, which means they can't up and there's alignment for a grand bargain now, but it's just a question of a new climate policy. We're the only ones with, uh, with the ad on this in the context of Trump. All of their intrinsic arguments don't, uh, all their intrinsic arguments don't make it to sense. They drafted the voting issue anyway. First negative ground and kills core generic which is a reason that you have to reject it. All their tar turn arguments don't make any sense. It's not about the Virginia lands that Obama sealed off using the OCSLA. All of those require Congress. Drilling is an inevitable. He needs Democratic support, not just the GOP. He needs enough to get 60 votes to break a filibuster, which he doesn't currently have. Drilling won't be open. Our batash this from two weeks ago and said that Trump initially considered drilling up the only but chose not to. Obama's current drain solves it. Trump can't unilaterally reverse the Obama regulations. They're as normative, not descriptive. It is one person's legal case that Trump should be able to do the better. Zero evidence this opinion is widely held or would actually be successful. If zero evidence speaks to Trump's motives, even if he could, he wouldn't because he doesn't have sufficient motivation, but the plan gives it to him. Even if I don't win this, I only need to win a tiny risk of enough benefit. Okay. We're, we're still waiting for you. We're ready. No, we're waiting. We started without him being ready. Why can't we start with it?
<laughs> Turnabout's fair sure. play, right? Go for it, Judd. Just say we're ready. Start, Dylan, now. <laughs> Prep God time's up. It. Why won't you start the goddamn two ARs? Well, I haven't given the order yet, Judd. Oh. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> okay. How many arguments are there? Gonna... <laughs> this state's okay. counterplay on the drilling deal. Keep it simple. <clears throat> okay. Now everyone seems close to go. This debate comes down to the fact that MSU has a terrible strategy in this debate. Their counterplan obviously links to the net benefit, which means I only need to win a marginal or a marginal takeout to the DA for you to vote affirmative because they've conceded all of the impacts and they've conceded a lot of pages of impact analysis. First, I'll answer this circumvention argument. One is that this is not a net benefit to a counterplan. Go back to camp. Solvency will never be a net benefit. Second is a durable fiat argument. Or they, they've conceded the durable fiat means that we should still get implementation of the plan. That should be sufficient because they've conceded all the solvency cards from the one I see that says that one, the plan spurs massive green investments from the private sector because it's solved a data sharing issue and secondarily our, our, our evidence says that that is uh, that the uh, federal benchmarking is necessary and sufficient to be able to solve the entirety of the firm which means even if Trump does other things with the EPA it doesn't matter our evidence says that the construction companies will actually want to because it fills in gaps between consumers and the industry this is a 2EC and 1AR warrant they have simply never answered that uh, which, which is sufficient to be able to overcome, uh, overcome any other things the EPA isn't able to do Finally, permutation, uh, per 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 permutation uh, do both of this. So this is functionally a delay uh, counterplan. They uh, we've made the argument that should should not be or should not immediate because otherwise we'd always lose it to terrible things like delay counterplans. There's no time frame element in the one AC, which means it's totally legitimate. Also, some of the one AR permutation uh, extrapolation is totally justified given the fact that this counterplan made no sense in the one NC and they read like 55 cards on it in the two NC. All uh, that, that, that should all be uh, fine. Otherwise, it makes it debating it being half impossible. They've conceded the well, they've conceded the argument that means we always have to debate ourselves, which means there's no actual education that is gained from things like the counterplan. Yes, you have written. A counterplan that no one else has read. Congrats, but it sucks. We uh, have definitions on our side too. You, you can see the argument that substantial just means we have to be of a uh, considerable amount. Your evidence never says that it actually has to be uh, things like uh, things, things, things like immediate. Also, the permutation to shields linked to the net benefit because it still uh, gathers things like coalitional support. This argument in and of itself doesn't make any sense. So you should ask yourself, how is it that the counterplan is able to build a coalition that makes the, the, the counterplan so popular yet at the same time fly under the radar? What does that look like? That doesn't make any sense, which is this last argument I'm going to, which I think is the most true argument in this debate, which is that it definitely links to the DA. The one NC link argument is that any new kinds of environmental regulations will spill over and cause things like horse trading in Congress because it causes industry influence to become more, uh, more pronounced. There's no like, link extrapolation or link differential in the 2 and R that's really done on the counter plan. This was also very clearly flagged in cross -X. There, All of their link shielding arguments assume things like political capital and Obama, but none of, the, 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 none, none, no other, none of their cards are new. They flagged five cards for you. Don't read MSU's cards for them. No 2 and R and no 2 and R analysis should not be sufficient. We've given you clear reasons as to why this obviously links. They have not Giving you any intuitive reason, don't overthink this debate. This counterplan links to the DA. Also, don't kick the counterplan for them. If you read a terrible advocacy, they should be stuck to it. Um, okay. The drilling deal. Your internal link is simply terrible. Our Virginia Post evidence, a page read in the 1AR, says that the military has literally redacted its statements about drilling being, uh, drilling trading off with its readiness. It says it doesn't create any kind of person. They're able to do sufficient military and training operations, even in a world where drilling also happens. There's also no impact. A lot of their evidence is talking about countries like Russia and China. They've also made the analysis that about things like the air-sea battle. That the, the one that just simply just doesn't make any sense. There's no reason why ships from Virginia would be the ones who go all the way to China. That's a 1AR argument. But secondarily, there's other forms of presence. Uh, there's other forms of presence in those areas which should be able to to fill in. They also, I don't think they answered the argument that Page made that says the status quo is fine on the Navy. That means the Navy is sufficient now to be able to handle all income, all incoming threats. Finally, the two pieces of Fight West evidence. The first one says the data disproves all of their analysis as to why the United States should be the global policeman. The Fight West evidence says that the states actually, uh, the, the states are actually fine in a world where hegemony doesn't happen. Also, you should, the, the, the case definitely turns this impact anyway because our, 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 our ton of evidence says that hegemony is, is, is undergird by things like economic credibility. Our evidence is that we cause financial incivilization, which causes things like trade asymmetries, which is a world in which escalation actually happens. They've conceded the uh, trade defense, which doesn't take out our advantage, but it does it, it does complicate the impact scenario for this because their argument is that trade, trade makes us too interdependent to go to war, but an economic collapse fundamentally uh, changes that finally. Their laundry list argument doesn't make sense. That's the second piece of fat wise evidence. There's not a ton of countries that are just itching, uh, that are just itching to go to war. They don't do any analysis as to what arguments happen. They say that they have 10 scenarios and hotspots like Iran, but they don't tell you how any of those escalate, nor do they give you a terminal impact for these things. Again, don't do the work for uh, the two, don't do the work for uh, the two on our. Let's see. 
They also haven't answered the are uh, also this DA just fundamentally does not make any sense to me. The only evidence they really have about new environmental regulation is, is their grand bargain piece of evidence about things like carbon pricing, which just simply isn't the app. They also haven't made any reason as to why the plan uniquely gets traded off because all of their one and C evidence is from things like the Obama administration, but their new evidence is that Trump is pushing for things like drilling now, but he can't get it passed through Congress. One, they haven't answered the argument that healthcare was a major failure for Trump and he has no influence now, which means he won't be able to pass it in the future. And second, uh, and secondarily, they haven't answered, they, they haven't given a reason as to why this means that Trump has to give a concession because of things like environmental regulations. That story fundamentally doesn't make sense. They haven't done that uh, kind of internal link analysis, and I don't think uh, you should do it for you. Finally, the argument that Trump will push for things like the rollback inevitably means one, this would not ever be a concession for Trump. This argument says one, that he'll be able to do it inevitably. They said he won't be able to do it through XOs. I don't think they read any evidence on this for you, so there's no reason. Our evidence says he'll try to push it anyway. And third, it just means that inevitably this will happen because Trump wants it to happen. This is a 1AR argument I don't, I don't think they have an answer to. Am I missing anything, Paige? Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is inevitable. Hold on. I had something for this. I'm sorry. I have not pulled up if you want. Nope, I got it. The DA is totally inevitable. Trump doesn't need any votes to do it. That's the oats. It's evidence. Says Obama didn't finish a job of totally banning uh, offshore drilling. Means there's loopholes that underguy, undermine safeguards against Trump. The Yardley evidence says the president has the ability to ban drilling, but without a permanent withdrawal of infrastructure, there is no way to guarantee that the coastline won't see new developments in the future. He's pledged to reverse it because he's in the pockets of fossil fuel industries. The incentive means the DA is not intrinsic to the action of the plan. It's a non-unique inevitability. Also, how can the counter plan be good? Both because it creates support through negotiation. I've already uh, made that argument. Also, uh, things like intrinsicness are reasons to reject the team. We're not going for an intrinsic argument. You, you fundamentally shouldn't reject it. Look at the end of the uh, debate. They brought a counter that definitely links to its DA. You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't kick the counterplan for them. They don't do enough turns case analysis. And we still have impacts at the end of the debate, which means you should obviously err affirmative.
right, I, I'm having. Who sent the one in C doc? The one in C? Uh, would be Luke. Do you need me to resend it or send it individually? Or did you get the compiled of doc? I don't know. I sent out a compiled ev doc. Um, do you want me to resend the one and see individually to your email? When did you send the compiled doc? At the end? Mm -hmm. At 7.54. Okay, I'm good. Let me know if I can do anything. I'm sorry, but the 1AR doc, mm -hmm. the first card mm -hmm. it, on the the first card on the disad is the hegemony card. No, no data supports hegemony. I thought the first card was. The Virginia Post card. It is, it might. Let me do, it should be the Virginia Post card. Is it not in that doc? I mean, it's it where? It out of order in the compiled doc. In the compiled doc, it's just right after those hedge impact cards. Okay. Ah, Virginia Pilot. Yep.
mean, I also think these four on day one just got a question. Unless he, unless he changed. Yeah, I mean, I know you'd have to, but if you just disappointed to, you know, or you have to go around to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Decisions happening with this. I do. <laughs> I'd like to start by saying that uh, I want to congratulate both of you for making it to the ELIMS of the National Debate Tournament. This is two of my favorite debate teams from two of my favorite schools, and I think you guys represent all of what is best about this activity. The decision in this debate is three to two for the negative from Michigan State. Some significant problems with the negative in this debate, not as people. Okay, let me make that clear. Not as people, but about your performance. First, uh, I need to ask you a question. Did you read my philosophy before this debate? Do you know what audience adaptation is? Okay, and that's all I'm going to say on it because Strauss and Will will take care of the rest on that. Uh, and you can tell them I'm shocked they didn't have you read it because I once voted against Strauss in a final round for this exact same reason. So my second major point, I understood a few sentences in the 2NC. 
some in the one in C, virtually none in the one in R. I got individual words, I got dates, I got author names. I did not get ideas communicated to me. Uh, <clears throat> and most importantly, in the negative block, <clears throat> From the cross-examination, we have established there are some key arguments the negative has committed to developing in the negative block to answer important questions that, uh, in my opinion, resulted in the one in C not having arguments uh, that were full arguments. I consider an argument to be complete to be an argument, and there were massive gaps exposed by uh, the uh, cross-examination of the one in C. Uh, but, <clears throat> I don't understand any of the arguments in the negative block in those critical areas. I would have had zero ability to describe what the negative's argument was going into that, perhaps if I was reading along in the speech document, but I don't do that. Uh, so I am left with uh, substantial gaps. The things that are in the 2NR are things that I have literally, in determining that I have never heard them in the sense of I comprehended them. Obviously, I heard them because your mouth was moving, vocal cords were pervasing sound waves, my eardrums recognized there were sounds coming out, but I could not have told you what any of them are. Third, you dropped the case circumvention arguments. Nothing in the 2NR addresses them. You don't reference them. I don't understand why Trump circumvention uh, of the plan through the agencies is, ch even if I do buy some of the 2NR, is changed by the political support for the plan. That seems inconsistent with your original arguments uh, on the case flow, because uh, you never tell me why it changes Trump's mind uh, and the arguments that Andrea said. Uh, and you dropped that whole part of the debate, um, and no reference at all to it in the 2NR. Nothing in the 2NR has, it, it was applied to any of the case circumvention answers that the 1AR makes explicitly clear. <clears throat> Fourth, the counterplan gets the disat and provides no reason to reject the affirmative plan. Uh, the Obama example is never answered except for in the cross-examination with promises as why this changes it. I don't understand why the political support argument, I don't understand the political support arguments in the 2NC or 1NR. I don't even know which speech they were made on or which flow. So, I think it gets the disad. There's no time frame differential. It provides no reason to reject. Thus, I vote affirmative. Uh, on the affirmative side, when there is a time lag gap, I think you should have made two arguments. Uh, one, some species may die. That would be unfortunate, and it risks taking out the Jenga. You never know which one's going to do it. Uh, second, what happens if the courts uh, overrule the antitrust doctrine? Even if the plan happens, that doctrine has already been overruled and 100% risk of the case. Uh, but I could. That's it. I thought it was clean in terms of communication, who did the actual debating that communicated the ideas. And like I said, not mad at you as people. All right, uh, I will go ahead. I voted negative. I think that the counter plan causes the AF. Uh, and I think that there's a risk either of the circumvention arguments or the other net benefit, at least to an extent that it outweighs what could be called a solvency deficit. Uh, I kicked around the permutation for a little bit just to sort of see what was there. I'm not sure whether the other judges will agree or took as long as I did. Uh, just kind of thinking out what, how it might have played out. But I think that uh, it was sort of under-debated in the 2AR to the extent that it's not totally implausible that sort of a permutation phrased as or effectively do the plan through the process of the counter plan. Uh, could not you know, get rid of this counter plan, but I think that it requires a little bit more debating on why this process is something that does not produce a useful topic or a way of contrasting uh, opportunity costs. I think there's a couple of negative pieces of evidence that suggest that this is a worthwhile uh, point of comparison to make uh, on DPT, um, the wood and fiber evidence in particular for the negative proposes, and I think that it's a little bit too light in the 2AR uh, that maybe this counter plan does suck, but need a little bit more explanation. Uh, I think that once that there is a counter plan uh, that builds support for the app afterward, it becomes a more effective version of the app. And in a way, solvency is in fact a net benefit. There's a bunch of different pieces of evidence, uh, the negative reads in the block, that I think the neg is partially right, that the one error could have addressed a little bit more on point. And although I am also sympathetic to the app, that 
there is something different about the affirmative that investors might respond to. There's a bunch of different pieces of negative evidence and a consistent theme running through the next speeches that the plan will be more effectively communicated by indus to industry and enforced by the agencies uh, if there is an interactive feedback process between uh, the government and industry while it is being formed and that, that before the federal uh, bit comes into play. I think that even if there's not a circumvention argument that there is a risk of a disad, although I agree with you that the disad could be called perhaps charitably contrived, uh, there is definitely evidence that the plan uh, or the counter plan will have more support and it makes some amount of sense to me that the counter plan would be less likely to cause a forced trade once there is support to overcome the threshold uh, that Trump needs to create you know, legislative action uh, on climate. Uh, I think that they are bright enough that the Virginia base and the Bouchard evidence <coughs> indicates is important uh, for training, which according to their evidence is the most important part uh, of building an effective military. Uh, and I think that uh, overall, just sort of the impact after this would be very difficult to reduce to zero with something like the fat loss evidence, uh, given you know the, the, the reasonable quality of negative impact evidence, prophecy, et cetera, on why naval power is able to deter the risk of war. Um, it would be difficult, to be frank, that if you don't win a solvency deficit or a theoretical objection to the counter plan, that you would have been able to win. Uh, it would, it would, the entire 2AR needs to be perhaps about either of those. It's extremely difficult to win a 2AR that reduces high, you know, any disad to that close. Um, so I, you know, I, I think you're in an extremely tough place. And it, in fact, I took a long time to think about all the different angles on this stuff. You know, it, it speaks to how well both of you debated. Um, I've enjoyed judging you both, you all as well. Uh, well, I think the biggest question in my mind was whether the 2NR got to the disad. And I felt like there were some places where the 2AR might have been able to win this debate by saying the Navy could train someplace else. You sort of assert that. He says, oh, there's unique stuff off Virginia. The card does say that. But I feel like they could find one other place or else they could drill someplace else besides Virginia. I, I don't know. I felt like navigating around the conflict was the best affirmative answer to the disad. And uh, I just don't think that's quite down to zero here. Uh, you don't answer the change places argument in the 2AR, and you don't an make the argument that they could drill someplace else and don't have to drill there. So I really, I felt like the disad got a minimal amount of risk. Uh, the Virginia pilot card is really as much negative as it is AF. Uh, and so I felt like the chances are if we tried to do the plan now, it would co cause a horse trade. I'm not particularly troubled by the argument that the counter plan links to the plan. Um, the counter plan. I mean, the counter plan links to the disad. I'm a little worried mm -hmm. about, I don't really see that as a, a very big argument. I, the way I get this in my head is that in order to get the plan passed today would take a lot of horse trading. But if there was this huge, massive industrial and public support for the plan, everybody would be for it and there wouldn't have to be any horse trading. It's true the GOP, there might be some GOP guys who say, hey, let's horse trade, but they wouldn't have any leverage because everybody would be for the plan and they wouldn't be able to say, well, I'm not going to do it unless you horse trade with me because, I, I don't know. I, I felt like the affirmity, the negative communicated to me effectively that there wouldn't be any need to horse trade in six months when the plan got popular. And I admit, I think this is contrived and artificial and maybe cheating, but those arguments are not really the focus of the affirmative. And I felt like uh, they got a pretty clean 100% takeout on the case and they still have a risk. I'll just say, in addition to talking about cheating, 2AR does not extend the case. You don't say the word antitrust exemption, you don't say the word environment, you don't say, even if they win a little bit of disad risk, we outweigh with something. Uh, I'm not sure what you would have said. I like the idea that six months might kill a species 
and that you know I mean there's a risk of that but if you don't have anything to weigh you're kind of I think trying to win the debate uh, on a tie and that's kind of a long shot I will say one other thing I don't think the solvency arguments are a net benefit because I do think doing both solves that right fiat the plan now fiat the counter plan now the plan will be unpopular now it might cause the disad now and it might not work now but in six months after the counter plan comes on the plan will start to work that's your claim so after six months they'll solve the same way you do I don't really think <coughs> solvency circumvention is getting you anything but I do think there's a tiny risk of the disad yeah I think my decision is I mean it's close to both but probably a little closer to Dallas just I think on that last point um, I think had I made Andrea's assessment that the disad linked I would be really struggling on is circumvention solvent solves better um, a net benefit I I don't know I, I mean I kind of went back and forth but thankfully I concluded not thankfully for you thankfully for our time here tonight I concluded that the disad was a net benefit and I just the way I the best way to put it to you and it may be almost a complete repetition of what Dallas said is the initial do the plan now there hasn't been that political support that percolated up and that would require a horse trade now there is appeal to me in your argument nonetheless and i i can you know i i kind of just went back and forth but for me it wasn't a definitive yes it does or no it doesn't i thought you know there's a reasonable <clears throat> chance that the counter plan does not require the horse trade but maybe it does i don't know how to assign it but to me that risk was larger then there just wasn't really any offense I thought situated around the case um, you know I, I thought you all debated really I thought the 2AC in particular was awesome you know really just well cover, covered I think you know there was some stuff that I, I think you know on this counter plan we've got to do and I mean the first thing that just occurred I mean that really jumped out at me is like I feel like theoretical arguments about follow-on don't assume the world we live in right now and I would have I think that's a worthwhile thing to push on um, and then couple that with a more aggressive you know here's what fiat gets us to get around circumvention and like I said I you know I totally get uh, where Andrea is coming from on disad and I think that if you had some offense some argument for why no follow-on that was compelling then I think you're if you don't have my ballot you're you know in, in really good shape you know otherwise because I mean I think you're great on the disad and it's not not really that great there's just not enough oh and the other thing I mean I guess this isn't I mean this kind of the federal government would fight what the states do you know it's not just that like oh they would see the state policy working like they would actively I mean I suspect you know the administration now whether they support or don't support would actively try and undermine state policy say you can't do that or we're gonna cut funding you know we're gonna sue you in court um, those types of things and I think even you know all of those arguments could I think be made analytically and it would likely would have gotten you to outweighing the disad. Yeah, if you I know. could just interject, the federal government can preempt the counter plan and not do the AF. They can just give the states the big old finger and say, no, you can't pass the carbon tax. That's preempted or they'll just preempt it. They'll pass a law that says you can't and screw all that building code stuff and the NEG will have no counter plan and no disad. Well, 
the two and R that happened to me, you know, and I, I, I kind of almost wanted to speak a little bit to, to Judd's decision as well, and maybe this will kind of get that. I agree if I were to line up the two and R, two AR, which idea was communicated better? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm with you and I can understand your frustration there. But what was it, what I thought, I mean, and I, you know, I don't want to say I got this in the 1 and C because I, you know, I never get the counterpoint on the 1 and C. But, um, <laughs> you know, it, in the 2 and C at least, my belief about why horse trading was a net benefit is that the counter plans process lets political support develop and that would not require a horse trade. I agree with you. Now, I mean, the interesting thing was I don't think Michigan State's cards on counterplay does not link. They were not relevant to my, like the rave, like credit blame. It was simply, this is why horse trading is a net benefit. Now, where I thought you were, um, you know, you were good, but I thought most of your argument spoke to that second point that the permutation avoids the link because it does the same process or whatever. And all of their cards where you, I thought, did some really good debating were about a political capital disad or, you know, an elections disad on credit blame. But I didn't think your debating really answered that one, what I would just call the fundamental MSU reason for why it avoids. Now, maybe I missed something, I, I don't know, but that was kind of like, it, this wasn't really a, you know, I, I didn't think I was making something up out of thin air. I thought like that idea was clear to me. Now, objectively was the 2AR clear, you know, at better at communicating that? I think so, but I also don't think you answered that one issue. And I, I if I may interject just one second, Paige. Uh, my problem wasn't with the 2 and R. I understood everything the 2 and R said. I didn't understand it before. Back to my philosophy. I will not do that. That's one way, but they have a better way to get support that doesn't revolve around horse trading that might link to a disad. I guess they're, I'm just, their cards are like very descriptive about time allowing political support to percolate. And so I'm just, one of my thoughts after the debate was like, well, one of the things that could be involved in that time frame in terms of generating support for the plan is concessions to industry to make it. It could, but it's not oh, so necessary when there's other support generated by this crazy, yeah, I mean. I was just wondering if that would maybe be a better way. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, to me, it, it fundamentally starts at the counterplan is not a peaceful, yeah. percolate, <laughs> yeah. you know, federal support just develops. The counterplan is, causes a conflict yeah. between a federal government that doesn't want to do something and a s states that are aggressively <coughs> forcing the issue. I think that happens in a ton of ways. No, maybe the neg is right. Maybe like you aren't going to have many cards on this. So like maybe eventually the economics of this are such that like the federal government has to kind of back down. But that is not this like calming process that's good for industry and whatnot. It's a disaster. Okay. And it's certainly uh, enough of a disaster that this crap old idea Joanne? outweighs. Congrats. Yeah, I think the counter plan just kind of trades its horses early, if that makes any sense. Yeah. The concession That's a, that it yeah. makes is like That's ahead of time when industry is like, oh my god, Texas is doing a carbon tax, our hair is on fire, do something now. And the concession is the counter plan. Um, so they just, you know, they substitute votes now for sort of a resolution later. Mm -hmm. States can do DDEV. <laughs> Cities can do DDEV. The programming of just like missing is like I don't have that explanation of the 2 and 2 and R. I just have them being like it flies under the radar. 
it's not a big deal, and then like eventually the plan happens. So I guess I'm just like, I it seems hard to debate mm -hmm. cards if they don't really mention Warren's out of. Well, I think the af after they say that stuff, which is sort of uh, is the they say that the counter plan builds support over a period of months. In other words, the reason the counter plan solves or trickles up is the same reason it doesn't link to politics, which they were sort of, in my mind, much the same thing. The counter plan builds support by disposing of the like industry problems, which is like the carbon tax, and as a result, it doesn't link because it resolves you know the need for trading. I don't know, that might have been a bit garbled, but essentially the reason the counter plan solves and the reason the counter plan doesn't link to politics are sort of doubled down on, which is that if they're right about their fiber cards, the, the counter plan builds support over time, doesn't link to politics and trickle down. Could have been clearer, certainly, but it's something that the 2NC gives a fair amount of explanation on and references later on in the debate. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know if this would would help or anything. I don't want it to in no way be sound critical. I appreciate the way Judd, you know, holds yeah. the line on this. I wish more judges did, you know, and so I don't want to, I feel, Judd's decision kind of makes me feel a little guilty, frankly. Good. And it should. <laughs> but I'm out of here, so, yeah. you know, unless tomorrow <laughs> I zap someone for being Love unclear, you, it's not going to work. We're also out of here. <laughs> but I think if you're debating, you've got to not be as Judd, you know, and you've got to kind of be like, we're going to read the cards, figure this out, and put our best answer forward. I understand being frustrated. Totally get it. But I think that there's, you know, you've got to think, okay, maybe I missed something. How can I, you know, overcome some judge that, and look, I mean, most judges are not like Judd. They mostly just read the cards as they're coming and kind of make a, you know, Sorry. Do you, do you have other questions? Do you have any other questions? Sort of, but I think I'm good. All right, great job. Yeah. Evan, you have to start the top of the counter plan by saying what the fuck it does. None of us can understand the counter plan test. You got to that like halfway through, and then I understood it. Like, that is the first thing out of your mouth. Yeah, it's more effective rhetorically too. Like if you do that, if you if you start with like the explanation, you're like, woo, this big counter plan. Yeah, this is like that's the first line. Yeah. Overall, it's really hard. I realize that a lot of early line by line. Is the bench what at the hotel? Yeah. 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 Yeah.